an artist were to sell their artwork for a um, hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars, doesn't matter, right? You're like, well, now only you know a very tiny percentage of the population can ever enjoy my work, yeah, but not really. 100%. If you are a living artist and you're selling your artwork at that level, um, there's all those other people that will buy a million other products. So Damien Hirst is a fantastic example of that. One of his originals, he has so many different products. He'll have, um, you know, a skull that he glued a bunch of diamonds on and there was only one made and it's going for, you know, hundreds of thousands. But then he'll have um, the print of the photograph of it or some sketchy drawing that he, that alludes to it or something and he'll he'll sell those. He did these um, this whole installation I saw of splattering paint. He literally threw paint in a big wall full of canvases all day long and they're like Jackson Pollock style paint throwing at it, which obviously has nothing to do with a skull with little diamonds on it. And then he made all these prints of these little dots and then he went and squirted some paint on them. So he has all these price points. He has the big, huge wall painting of this thrown out, you know, artwork. That's probably going for hundreds of thousands. The little print is probably going for 1500 that he hand touched. And then he probably has a mass produced print of it or a book or a coffee cup or whatever in the museum shops, you know, that, so look at how many people he's reaching. That's, That's so true. true. It's true. Yeah. So yeah. there's, the higher you go, the more, everybody here you can serve on some level with some sort there's of product. There's always room for growth. But if you're down here, you, you there's all this here that you can't reach.